So the Elder Scrolls is still one of my favorite video game franchises, but that's mainly just due to Oblivion and Skyrim, none of the other games included. When those games were released, I was pretty young, and I'd never really played a game that let me explore an open world, make my own choices, interact with NPCs. Now, when Morrowind was released, I was only like a couple months old. By the time I could play games, I had no idea this existed. Now that I have an even bigger child brain as a young adult, I figured I'd finally give Morrowind a spin, and I'm pretty glad I did to be honest. This was my first play session on a game and I'm gonna share with you the journey I had and why it's pretty much still worth playing today. To begin, we start on a boat as a prisoner. After giving my guy the name Young Master Flex God, we got escorted off the boat and get to create our character. All right, let's change face, see what other faces we got. <laughs> Look at this one. This, is, this one looks like a human face. After that, we go talk to Socius, this priest pilgrim looking guy. He gives us a questionnaire to answer that'll determine our class. You can also choose your own class, but I went through it anyways. On top of that, there's also a mention to a sweet roll, which is pretty famous with these games. For my playthrough though, I looked at all the classes I had available and I chose the battle mage background. There's a lot of different builds you can go with, and there's definitely quite a few that I'd want to try maybe eventually. After picking our star sign, we made our character, and then we went to the first person that's going to tell us who we are and why we're here. So as Gravius tells us that the Empire's Emperor himself asked for a release, and that we need to head over to a man in a neighboring city. This guy's name is Cassius Kosade, and he lives in Balmora. It is also worth noting I'm not playing vanilla. I'm playing around with about a dozen mods, so I had more NPCs as well as some graphic enhancements to make the game look better. What makes playing Morrowind feel more engaging than games like Skyrim or Oblivion is that you actually need to pay attention and read all the dialogue. With there being no quest markers, in order to get to new cities, you either need to get a ride, teleport there, or follow the road signs to see where to go and which road will lead to which part. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the game as you need to pay attention to your surroundings to find out where to go. I could get a ride there, but I decided to do the walk and see what kind of adventure was ahead of us. Along the way, we met a lady who wanted us to find someone for her. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way. Although he did take my jewel, he was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Oh, never mind the jewels, I want to find a bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must meet him again. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me. After that on the road, we had our first battle, which lasted over a whole minute. This was against a rat. Oh shit! A rat! Time to die. Yeah! Oh, yeah, look at my kill, boys. Look at this. We did this all on our own. In Morrowind, other than stamina and a few other ways you learn as you play, you're going to be missing all of your shots because of the skills in this game. Until you get your skills up a bunch, you'll basically be useless not hitting any damage except for 1 out of 10 times. This is sort of similar to the very old World of Warcraft leveling, and I'm kind of a fan of leveling styles like this in certain RPGs. It makes the grind feel more worth it or more engaging. Comparing it to other games that I play like Kenshi, it's really a lot like you're starting off with nothing, but then eventually you can become a massive force to fear in the game world. I soon came across my first enemy that I had no chance of fighting though. I still don't know what the fuck this thing is, but it's pretty terrifying. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god, someone help. Dude, I'm gonna run to the city. I'm gonna try at least. I'm gonna try. Oh, building right there. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, someone help. Help. Slave this beast. Yeah! Dude, they one hit it? Are you kidding me? After that smart play though, I was able to make it to the city of Balmora and begin to ask around at the bar for the guy we're looking for. This guy's... What are you sitting on? A fucking vibrator? This guy's having a goddamn blast. I am looking for Cases Cosades. Do you know where he is, sir? Old Cosades rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Oh, dear God. This is the guy we got a fucking... No, I'll go back to being a slave, man. Maybe we'll give him a chance. What's she banging on, shoddy? This man is who will let us join the Blades once we're strong enough. But he tells us to go basically get our levels up. Go do some quests, join some guilds or factions. I think this is a pretty dope way to give the player a choice in what to do in the game. It feels like a linear pick-your-own-adventure almost, as I can probably do a lot of these different things. But anyways, we got given some gold, that way we can go get some gear. 
I picked up some cheap armor as well as a two-handed sword, but was left known by my chat that I should probably use axes as they're my major class skill. I'll hit a lot more often with a skill of 30 instead of 10. And now that I was equipped, I would need to begin my journey. So I decided to join the Fighters Guild, and then got given a task to go help a lady clear out rats from her house. In order to keep tragress, tragress, holy shit, I tried to mix track with progress. In order to keep track of my progress, it's all recorded into a journal, which isn't too easy to get around, but it is really immersive. I mean, I love stopping everywhere just to look at a map or journal to try and find out where to go and already after the first hour i started to feel like i was getting a hang of my surroundings and i could make my way around the world west is left east is right oh man yeah i always get that one mixed up i always overestimate myself i tell myself you know you don't need to do the never eat shredded wheat shit anymore but every time I don't, it fucking works against my favor. Before that though, I decided to go into a guard tower and look around. Inside of here, there's lots of weapons, so I wouldn't have even need to buy weapons. But on top of that, there was also an enchanted sword worth 17,000 gold. It was right on the top shelf of a dresser. But unfortunately, there's a guard in a room who will watch you, and if you end up taking anything, well, he basically fucking takes your life. How much does he do if I resist? Oof! <laughs> so he's always aggro towards me. Can I? It worked! It worked! I got it! I am good at video games. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> it's Morrowind though, so I wanted to test the game's mechanics. By getting behind the pole out of sight from the NPC, I can steal the chest. So I decided to figure out how to cheese it so I could get the sword. I basically figured out a speedrun trick on my first playthrough, and got a sword worth much more gold than any of the shopkeepers had at the moment. With that win under my belt, I went over to the rat lady and began to help her. Um, are you the one I sent to take care of the cave rats? Yes. These cave these rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. All right. Kill it. Okay, nice. That's the first one. Damn, that thing already fucked me up quite a bit. I lost some health. Now, because I took some damage, I wanted to go sleep in her bed to heal up. But when I tried to do that, I woke up to a Dark Brotherhood member attacking me. Luckily, though, I took him out and scored some great armor compared to what I had. He had a few thousand gold worth in armor on him, which was now mine. And with that, I was able to finish the rat quest and take out the remaining rats. I was able to grab my reward from the lady and then head back to the Fighters Guild. When returning there, I got my next quest. This was to head to a mine that was near a bridge and take out a couple of bandits inside of there. I also went to the Mages Guild and sign up with them. One thing that stood out was that because I didn't ask the girl where the mine was, it never got put down in my journal. So I had to actually go back to her and ask her for directions. And even after that, I ignored the directions and I crossed the bridge just to explore for like 20 minutes until I figured out I was in the wrong spot. I mean, I ended up finding a woman who would tag along with me for a while, but other than that, I basically went right past the mine. The fields of Kumu. I am on a pilgrimage of holiest places, but I've lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Um... I have no idea where that place is. Like, I'm looking for a mine right now, but I'll, tr I'll try and help you. The old suspension bridge is just southeast of the mine entrance. Oh, so I didn't even need to cross the bridge. There's a fucking mine entrance right there. Once I got in the mine, I had to fight some slug creatures in order to get through. And right away, I ended up fighting someone who I thought was a bandit, but was actually a miner. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a fucking fool right there. Okay, there we go. It's going for the attack. <laughs> okay. A fall and jumping attack didn't really work. Get him! Yeah, help me out. Help me out, girl. Oh, yeah, minor gore. Fuck, it was. What made that whole encounter even better was just 30 seconds later, there's this encounter with another miner. <laughs> Please don't harm the workers. They won't barber you. Would have been nice to be told that before. Following that though, I continued my way to fight some more bugs as well as the bandits I was sent to fight. With the bandits dead and that mission basically complete, I decided to clear the mine for some extra levels and then headed back to the city. I turned in a quest and got another in which we need to go to another city in order to take like four people out. 
Along with that, we're told that the Mage's Guild has a teleport there, so it might be good to use my guild status as I could get a trip over. Unfortunately though, right when I entered the Mage's Guild, I was looking at a book and stole it by accident, so everyone wanted me dead. Therefore, I had to basically reload at the mine. And with that, I ended my first play session of Morrowind, but I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be my last one as I'm pretty interested in exploring this game more. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and comment. All my socials are in the description as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.